Hello guys and welcome to your 22nd Java tutorial in which we are going to be going over more 2D graphics. Now I believe that last time I left you guys off with this block of code here and I left you guys with the idea that we need to somehow get this rectangle to appear on this J-frame. Uh, well how we do that is, well it's actually much more of a complex process than you guys might think. You see, the only way we can actually get it to appear on the J-frame is by using a J-component. Now what J-components are, they're pretty much just building blocks in Java that you can uh, display on windows so you can have several J components displaying several elements of a window on on a window and what we need to do in this case is create a J component we need to draw this rectangle on that J component and then we need to add that J component to this frame now that seems kind of kind of logical you know reasonable but to do this we actually need to create a separate class for this uh, uh, for this J component so what do we need to do? We need to create a new class. Sorry, I always keep going file new. But uh, all we really need to do is actually navigate to the source folder uh, and open up the default package, which is already open for us right here. Uh, and we need to right click on source, and here we can go to new and new class. So let's create a new class. Uh, let's call it uh, drawings. Drawing, drawing component. There we go. How about that? Not much of a creative name, but you know, it's still pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool name, drawing component, you know. I'm feeling it. And guys, the very important part when creating this class, we have to make it extend, extend J component. Now listen, I know we haven't gone over the extends keyword yet, but this is just, this, this kind of mini series is supposed to be kind of a precursor, uh, sorry, um, it's supposed to be a look into what you guys will be able to do in the future and how 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 we will uh, kind of understand this material how you will understand this material because we'll be going over the same material more in depth later on once you guys have understood pretty much every concept now excuse me I, uh, you have to import java dot awt dot j component I believe before you can actually use it as an extend statement and look at that look at that I completely screwed up oh there we go we have to, uh, no, all right, guys, I'm failing today, but you know, it's all, it's all part of the process, you know, Java X dot swing dot J component, there we go, and you would get it right eventually, all right, and what this extends keyword does is all it says is we're creating an instance draw component, we're, and it's pretty much uh, an instance of this J component class, and it's not actually an instance, but it inherits all of the variables and func and uh, methods from the J component class. So all we're really doing is we're pretty much just making draw com drawing component. We're making a separate class that's very similar to J component. That's pretty much exactly the same as J component, except it's kind of an instance of the J component class right now, as we've inherited all of its details. All right, guys. Enough repetition there, and let's actually start coding. So now that we've actually extended this J component class, this class has gotten a lot of new methods. Uh, and by the way, we'll, we'll go over this keyword later on, as I've mentioned, but just for now, just take my word for it. And as we inherit this J component class, we also inherit a lot of methods. And one of these methods is called uh, paint component, spelt exactly as I have it here. All right, I'm sorry, let me just type this code and I will explain it right after I'm done typing. All right, so all we've really done here is we've created a method. We haven't actually created it, but we've implemented a method that we got from this J component class. So right now, you guys should probably just use this as a template for our basic program. And by the way, it's giving us an error because the graphics class, it's actually a separate class, wasn't, wasn't not imported. But we've just fixed that, so everything's fine now. But pretty much all we're really doing is we're taking a class that we've gotten from this J component, and we're just expanding on it by adding a code body to it. So here's our here's our body of code and we're just going to add on to this. Now this paint component class is set to automatically it's um, it's automatically called every time we actually open the window or the position of the window is changed or uh, we've minimized the window or changed the size of the window, resized it, any 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 really th any anything um, that we any change that we perform to the J frame that it's located on will cause this paint component method uh, to be called. Now all we really want to do in this paint component method 
as as you can guess, this is called every time we we actually change uh, the location or position of the window, and it's automatically called at the beginning of the program. All we want to do is actually paint something. We want to paint some kind of a rectangle, right? But before actually doing that, we have to do this. Now, once again, let me type some code here, and I will explain it as soon as I am done typing. All right, so once again, we're getting an import error. Let's just import uh, graphics to do, which is another class, by the way, guys. It's just an extension on the graphics class. It's just um, it's made for a more advanced uh, drawing shape. So we're just going to be drawing more advanced stuff than what we can do with the graphics cl class. So we just need to create a graphics 2D class instead. And all we're doing is we're setting the graphics uh, the graphics 2D class. We're creating a G2 variable and we're setting it equal to our old graphics class that we have in a parameter right here. And this thing right here in parentheses is called a cast, which means that uh, all, we want uh, our program to recognize G as a graphics 2D class, which is why we put this in parentheses. Once again, we'll go over casts later, but for now, just take my word for it. I just want to show you guys something really cool and actually kind of demonstrate what uh, we can do with Java. Uh, so what can what, what what can we actually do now? Well, we've already created our drawing component class. It extends J component. We have implemented this method and wrote some code for it. Paint component, which is uh, inherited from J component. Uh, we've uh, what we've established a graphics 2D variable that is set equal to our G variable in the parameters, which means that we're still controlling the the graphics of the actual uh, the actual component. Uh, so what do we do now? Well, guess what? We can draw the rectangle. Woot! And before I forget, we need to also import java.awt.rectangle, which is which is the class that we want to use to actually draw it. Uh, so what do we want to do now? Now everything's going to move a lot smoother and easier. It's going to be much much easier. You I, trust me, guys. I have been through that. So uh, what rectangle? Let's call it rect one, and set it equal to a new rectangle. So it's a new. All right. Let's see if I can spell this right. Oh, yay! To a new rectangle, and it's going to uh, be positioned uh, five comma five. So that means it it's pretty much uh, five on the x and five on the y. And remember, remember y when y is positive, we go down because we we uh, we use our top uh, left point of point uh, as a reference point for origin for our our origin. And uh, this is a good thing to remember in Java as when the y value actually increases, uh, we want to go down. We go down instead of up. Uh, that's just a, a brief note there, and let's make the width of the rectangle 100 pixels and the height 200 pixels. Just why not? Uh, so I think that should be it. Now that we've actually created our rectangle, we need to actually draw it out. So right now it's just a collection of points uh, in a class. So what do we do to draw it out? Well, we take our graphics 2D variable, or G2, and we can use a method called draw rect. All right, and all we really need to do is put rect one in uh, these in uh, this method. And I'm um, sorry, actually, we don't even need to do draw rect. We just need to do draw uh, because draw rect we can actually do all everything in one step with draw rect. But you'll see why I kind of put this uh, apart into two steps a bit later. Right now, uh, let's just actually go to our main class and let's add our drawing component to our J-frame, our main J-frame. So uh, let's just erase this rectangle because we really don't need it. So what do we first need to do? Well, we need to create an instance of our drawing component that we just created. So drawing component, let's name it DC. Uh, set it equal to a new drawing component, like so. Uh, everything should go fine. And after we've actually created an instance of our drawing component, the final step is to add DC to our frame, uh, which in this case is named window, declared right here. So window dot add, very simple command, and we are adding our component DC. So if we run this program, the long-awaited moment is arriving, guys. We hit OK, and bam! Wow. All right, this is incredible. What do we have here? We have an incredible rectangle. All right, you see the top left corner here is five comma five. Uh, its width is 100 pixels. Its height is 200 pixels. All right, this is beautiful. All right, let's go. Let's go sell this on the market. I'm ready for millions. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Uh, all right.
before we go ahead and start bragging about our accomplishments, let's actually take a look at this code. Uh, let me see how much time I've left. Uh, yeah, we really don't have much time left, guys. I'm just going to quickly run over the code. So we imported some elements here. We, we, we created a class drawing component uh, that extends J component so that we could later add it onto our J frame that we created in our main class. Uh, this, this J component, uh, we're extending the J component, which gives us a set of variables and methods. One of these methods is paint component, which is called automatically when the program starts and at other times when the uh, the, the window is changed. It has this graphics G variable here. We need to create a graphics 2D variable and we need to put a cast on this G variable so that our program will recognize it as graphics 2D variable. So we can set it equal to G2. Uh, here we just created a simple rectangle uh, who has positioned the top left corner of, of which is positioned at 5 comma 5. Width is 100 pixels, height is 200 pixels, and we used our G2 class to draw our rectangle on this component. After which we went to our main class, created an instance of this drawing component, and added it to the J-frame. Whew. Alright, that was a mouthful, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you later in the next tutorial. Peace.